all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol sos sos limited and before we jump into this chart i do want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video guys right after this chart analysis i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys we're actually going to talk about an option put option opportunity that you want to watch doesn't mean you have to act upon it but it is something to watch moving forward it's been up 300 percent today alone it looks like it's 30 percent down on the options chart right when you look at the different strike prices but it's 300 percent from today's lows and it's going to be one to watch going into tomorrow if that's something you want to learn from or actually do more due diligence and research so i'm going to share that towards the second half and also talk about today's home runs that we hit even though the stock market was plummeting and falling we're consistently looking for opportunities over at the discord and if that's something that interests you you're more than welcome to join us and you can become part of it too the link is down below in the description so sos actually went ahead and pulled downwards guys it's hitting newer lows again pulling back and a lot of investors are looking for actually the long-term opportunity on this one or they're trying to swing trade this you could see that there's a lot of investors swing trading this just through the momentum and the momentum that's happening right here and then the ones that are holding are hoping for that long opportunity of back to five maybe even ten dollars eight dollars up here but it's going to be very important to remember that this type of momentum already happened and it's kind of hard for a stock to repeat that and do it the same if you don't realize it's hitting newer lows and leaving newer highs behind guys it always did that and these spikes are becoming weaker weaker and weaker guys they're not hitting newer highs if anything all it's doing is pointing to the downward direction now some investors will look at that as an opportunity because at some point there will be a floor no one knows the floor but there will probably be one and then it will actually bring itself back up and bring that momentum to the upside but that's for those that have done their research understand what this stock is doing and what's going on with them but at the end of the day it's a penny stock i don't hold penny stocks and i say this all the time i trade penny stocks so it's very important to be aware of that so the first thing i want you guys to be aware of is the 50-day moving average and that's 348 guys 348 needs to be crossed and turn into a support by the bulls to push upwards and get back into bullish territory if they accomplish that they have a little bit of strength and leverage but it doesn't guarantee anything right they need to pull away from it significantly now our support here which is the lowest point of today's run to the downside is 325 now if that gets broken through your next support will be down here at 302 and obviously the lowest point that we've seen in this bearish run which was 291 guys but we don't want to worry about those just yet but you do want to keep those in mind the first point to watch is 325 and see how quickly it hits newer lows now the resistance level you want to watch for is right up here at this point and that's 348 if that gets crossed and turned into a support the bulls can be on their way up to newer highs new resistance levels and getting deeper into bullish territory and it will actually get them right there to the 50-day moving average so our resistance and 50-day moving average are significant for the bulls to get back up now if they accomplish that and they start pulling upwards the next resistance level is up here at 367 and that's the second highest point of the day yesterday and the highest point before this dip started rolling over to today so very important points to watch and if right now I could say something, I could say that this is in a tug of war area and the bears are dominating right now and the bulls will need to reappear. If not, this could possibly start to hit newer lows and get closer to the previous lows we saw. We're going to have to see how this plays out. The overall market took a hit. SOS did too. So it could probably just moving with the momentum. But personally, this stock has been in a bearish trajectory for some time. So we're going to jump right into the ticker symbols I mentioned today over at the Patreon and Discord. And if that's something that interests you, 
you're more than welcome to join us and i'm going to share with you guys an option that's a put option i was watching today that went up 300 percent and it will be an interesting one to watch going into tomorrow if the momentum continues to pull back that stock within the day of tomorrow stay tuned for that and thank you guys always for your support and for watching all i ask for is three to five more minutes of your time so today was a very very volatile day i stated it over at the discord when we started watching these stocks i was looking for a quick five to ten percent early on in the morning but turns out if i would have been just a little more patient with this same opportunity that gave me about three percent in the morning it could have given me 20 percent plus guys this was a home run i was just looking at so many other opportunities and i was trying to get in and get out looking for a five to ten percent opportunity especially when the stock market is falling like this but we will never stop looking for opportunities and watching stocks that have momentum that is something that we'll continue to do always in the invest for tomorrow discord and if that's something that interests you the link is down below in the description we're 100 plus members already all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses so i jumped in on this one pretty early and i wrote it from those 570s up to the sixes and then it started pulling back a little bit and i got out now i ended up making three percent here and i ended up making 12 percent on another one that i mentioned and here are the stocks that i mentioned i mentioned eyes lhdx and nerv so this is the one that gave me 12 percent it actually turned out to be a home run as well 20 percent plus early on in the morning and if we look it up here you will see that it played out really good and really fast so it pulled back and it ran up and right here at this stagnation i made a decision to call it a day take my 12 percent and move on and it hit a high here of 299 guys 20 percent plus and right here also before pulling back and hitting that high it hit 296 so that was phenomenal to start off the day and that happened within just 10 to 12 minutes okay that's what i was looking for with eyes it didn't happen and same thing i was looking for with lhdx but i was confident that there was opportunity here with these stocks and these stocks definitely have momentum to the point that it actually pulled back ran up again right and now in the aftermarket this stock has blown up guys now this momentum can actually lead into tomorrow and so forth but home runs after home runs for the day but right here pulled back hit a low here of 637 and all the way up to 731 that was phenomenal right there great move of 15 percent plus and it's always about execution and patience guys we can't have that instant gratification that it's going to go up as soon as the bell rings pulls back and just takes off you sometimes have to watch it for an hour or two and watch it through the volatility have your indicators up look at the charts set your stop loss limit order once you find that bottom or at least the weakness of consolidation like it did here and then you just write it up and if you get kicked out that's the cost of trying right your stop loss limit order is the cost of trying and right there is that 10 to 15 percent opportunity and now it's up a total amount of almost 40 percent on the day plus that run i mean it's pretty phenomenal how this stock has been moving and we have to see how it plays out moving forward but this is what we look for every day let me share with you guys the option play that i found interesting today so here we are with oxy occidental petroleum right and this company is showing here on this put minus 38 percent but it's actually showing minus 38 percent from the day before going into today if you see the low of this it was close to 0.15 I think close to 0.14 and it's currently at 0.51 that's 300 percent up guys now the stock is moving upwards in the aftermarket hours volumes picking up so it is something to watch and see what's going on and if this starts building momentum in the pre-market tomorrow yes this is going to get hit a little bit but if there's any type of momentum that pulls it back like it did today 
this will be an option that will probably go up in value. It's all about execution and timing, right? So you want to watch it carefully because the volatility can start off right at the bell, the first 30 minutes or first couple of minutes, and this starts flying. It's a great day trade opportunity for an extra, you know, 10, 20% if that does happen, or it could start losing an extra 10, 20% and become minus 50, become minus, you know, a certain amount and go back downwards because the stock is overextending. But if it does overextend at the end of the day, it may cool off. And as it's pulling back, the value is going to go up. But it found it very interesting that it shows you the put is down for the day 38%. But from the low to this point, anyone that day traded it made 300% plus guys. So that's what's interesting about puts and calls and options in general, that even though they look down, it's all about timing and execution. And anyone could be up even when a put or a call looks like it's down, guys. So very interesting stuff. Take a look at it. If you know what you're doing and you've done your due diligence and research, take a shot at it. But this is a very, very risky opportunity because it actually expires this Friday, guys. And this Friday, if you don't sell it by then, depending on what brokerage you have and how much you bought, it can actually exercise the stocks and you'll become assigned those stocks, 100 shares per contract. So either it could expire worthless on the 14th or you can be assigned those specific shares and that could be a bigger issue. So if you don't know about this and you don't know anything about options, you want to stay away from it and you're supposed to trade it days before the expiration. This is a very volatile opportunity and it can also be a very volatile misfortune. So be very careful. If you're learning, just watch and see how it reacts. It's currently at 0.51. We're going to see where it ends up tomorrow if it starts getting volatile to the upside or downside. But I wanted to share with you guys something interesting that I have been watching over time that puts and calls can look like they're down but they're actually up depending on where you strike them and caught them guys. So something new to learn there. And tomorrow, if you're learning and you don't know much about it, just watch. And if you know what you're doing, make a rational decision based off of your due diligence and research. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.